welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of materials. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's begin. So this question is basically about the absorbency of different materials and we have four materials that is tested over here, A, B, C and D. And what Mutu did was to pour 50 ml of water on each material and he recorded the amount of water inside the beaker and he also recorded the amount of water left on the material. When 50 ml of water was poured into the container, some of the materials actually allowed the water to seep through the material. Whatever water that managed to seep through would be collected in the beaker. The water that cannot seep through will be left on top of the material itself. So let's look at the question. Which material, A, B, C or D, is most suitable to be made into a raincoat? Now, if this person wants to make a raincoat, do we want a raincoat to allow water to seep through it? No, right? We need to make sure that the raincoat does not allow water to seep through. Hence, the material should not absorb any water and therefore it must be waterproof. Since we don't want water to seep through this material, should we see any water collected in the beaker? We should see no water collected. So let's focus on this part of the table here. Amount of water inside the beaker. Remember, since we do not want to see any water collected, we should actually be looking at 0 ml in our table. So which is the one that has 0 ml? It is A and B. But now, if you look at material B, there was actually 0 ml of water left on the material. So where did all of these 50 ml of water that was poured go? So in this case, students need to realize that 50 ml of water that was poured was actually absorbed by the material itself. Therefore, is material B absorbent? Yes. Okay, so material B is absorbent as it absorbed all the 50 ml of water. However, if you look at material A, it had 50 ml of water left on top of the material, which means it did not allow water to seep through. It did not allow water to be absorbed as well. Therefore, material A is waterproof. So since we are looking for a waterproof material to make a raincoat, we need to choose material A, which is number 1. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!